Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be comparing RTX Mega Geometry with software ray tracing. If you haven't seen the video I uploaded yesterday, go ahead and watch that first because this might confuse you a little bit. So one of the things that I mentioned in that video is how good the reflections are in the RTX Mega Geometry branch Zora that I was playing around with. So in this video, I'm going to do a side by side by side of software ray tracing, which is the vanilla with hardware ray tracing. And then we'll do a hardware ray tracing with the RTX Mega Geometry in the Zora branch. So you can see it. Now, this is not going to be a tutorial on how to enable hardware ray tracing. If you want to learn more about that, I made a lot of videos about it on my channel. Additionally, uh, my lighting course, I talked about it a little bit on how to enable it and so on and so forth. But in this right here, I just want to go straight to the comparison. Now, with software Lumen ray tracing, this uses what's called a mesh distance fields to calculate the data. It's pretty much using simplified 3D representations of your scene or your objects. So if I go here, you can see that in the reflection, we're not seeing the entire thing. We're just basically seeing some kind of representation of what our, what our actual scene looks like. And we can confirm this by going to Lumen and Reflection View. This is what software ray tracing is reflecting. Now, don't get me wrong. For a software ray tracer, this looks fantastic. It does a really good job. Now. If you're making video games, targeting 60 FPS, 30 FPS and old gen, software ray tracing is it. But if you're making cinematics or if you want to offer higher quality in your video games, then obviously you're going to need to know about hardware ray tracing. So I'll turn this off. And what I'll do is I'll just take a picture of this right now. So now what I'm going to do is open up the same exact project, but with hardware ray tracing turned on. All right, so here we are in the same exact project, but now we have hardware ray tracing turned on. Now I make a lot of videos when I title it something like HWRT or in social media. This is what I'm talking about. This is hardware ray trace. And right away, you're gonna notice that our image is a lot better than before. And if I go here again and look around, press G to hide those icons, our reflections are definitely a lot better and once again if i go to lit lumen reflection view you're gonna see that our scene is not as funky as before we're actually seeing complete mesh in our reflection view and that's because hardware ray tracing actually uses real geometry when tracing and that's why the reflections and the gi should look a lot better go back here you see, we're actually seeing some more of that geometry kind of popping in, which is if you're working with cinematics, hardware ray tracing is, is a definite must. I get a lot of people asking me, hey, how come your reflections look so much better? Well, here's, here's that secret. It's hardware ray traced. Okay. So now that we saw what regular hardware ray tracing looks like, now I'm going to show you what hardware ray tracing with mega geometry looks like. Okay, so here we are in the same scene, but now we are in the Zora branch, which has RTX Mega Geometry, has Re-Steer, and this is what our reflections look like. If I look right here, we can actually see the entire scene. Now, my guess as to why this is happening is partially because with RTX Mega Geometry, we can fully ray trace Nanite. So we don't have to use distant mesh fields and guesstimate, approximate, or use partial geometry. We can see the entire scene as is, if not really close to as is, in the reflections. So once again, I'm going to go back here and show this uh, reflection here. And I'll take this up to Epic. We might crash, but I'll put it to Epic so you can kind of see it because we had it in Epic in the previous versions. And honestly, I don't know what this means in the gaming world. Um, cause performance wise, I'm not sure how, how, how much this is going to kill performance, but in the cinematics world, this is huge. 
this is absolutely bonkers. Um, I'll be curious. Maybe with the combination of multi-frame gen, we might be able to see RTX mega geometries in video games. But I don't maybe see that coming for another five, maybe ten years. But, you know, I could be wrong. And that's pretty much it for this video. Look, this is not a scientific test. This is me going in here and just kind of talking about what I see and my guesses. I'm not a game dev. I'm just a YouTuber who was absolutely in love with graphics in Unreal Engine 5. If I got anything wrong, let me know in the comments below so we can kind of get that corrected. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.